YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where I make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today is Saturday, I'm here at the house getting ready to leave because I'm about to go get some stuff for this setup. So we have a Gen 4 Glock 17 MOS right here, guys. That's something really cool that I wanna show you. Let me zoom in here. That is that new SCS optic from Holosun made to directly mount in to the MOS. Review will be coming soon, but check that out. They did such a good job. Like even the serrations perfectly line up there. So I've been waiting to do a review on this gun specifically because I had my MOS sent out to our buddy Vinny over at Monsoon Tactical for that Lucky 7 porting. Look at that, it's pretty sweet. They did this cool Tiger Stripe um, Cerakote, and of course we made a matching Tiger Stripe holster to go with it. Got the uh, orange Kydex inside on our secondary on the waistband holster with some Tiger Stripe on the outside to match. Anyway, I'm going to go get a new trigger for this. Um, you guys all know here on the channel, I'm not a Glock fan, and it's not that I don't think Glock's a great gun. I think it's uh, an amazing gun. I think everybody should have a Glock 19 or 17 in their, in their uh, collection, arsenal, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just not a fan of that grip angle. So if you see right here for me, I have to cant my wrist forward to bring the uh, sights or the optic in line. So when I press out, the natural grip angle for me, I end up having to rotate forward. Not a big deal. I mean, it is a training thing. The more I use Glock, the more I become accustomed to it. But just the natural grip angle of a 2011, something like that, has always just worked better for me. So anyway, let's hold our Ventura. Go see our buddy Mike. Haven't seen him in a minute here on the channel. And let's pick up some stuff. What's going on, guys? So we are here, and look who it is. What's up, man? What's up, dog? How's it going? How you been? Good. Busy. I don't think we've seen you on the channel since last year. I know. It's been a minute. Oh, yeah. Last so. year. That's good. Things I are good. see things are busy as ever. Yeah, yeah. All still, the guns. Guns are getting guns are getting back. Ammo's starting to get back. Price is still kind of shitty. Shit, bitty. Um, what's a what's a what's a QEO vlog without Mikey? Cutting? <laughs> I tried. I tried. But no, things are good. Things that are was, uh, not you, bad. I, I heard you went to you didn't go to Brian Head, but you went to Duck Creek, Deer Valley, or Deer Valley. Where's yeah. that at? Uh, next to uh, like Salt Lake, forty minutes out of Salt Lake, Park City area. Gotcha. Yeah. How was that? Skied for the first time. A little bit of bougie skiing. Yeah, it was real. A lot of sitting you, on my you ass. Said they don't let snowboarders where you. They were don't, at? dude. And like, it's funny, man. We go, we go. Like, we're like just got back to the bottom mountain, and there's this dude holding a board, being like, "Shit, I'm in Deer Valley, aren't I, man? I followed <laughs> people through the trees, dude. And didn't realize where I was. But yeah, no, yeah, not a not a single snowboarder, man. It was weird. That's it was crazy. Super, super bougie. I'll try to find that video I was telling you about, like from like the '90s or '80s when like. Like they were just so like snowboarders are like double worshippers. I'll find it. Oh, it's gnarly. yeah. And they're dangerous because if one of these uh, skateboards or ski boards, whatever they're called, hit a person, they'd break their leg because they're just like a missile. And most of them have no brakes on them. So uh, nobody is allowing them on any of the mountains around. Yeah, well, and I was the only person at like the bougiest place I've ever been to. And, uh, Tim had all this, like the snow gear. We're all getting ready in the morning. He's like, hey, good news, bad news. I'm like, what? He's like, well, good news, I brought three jackets. Good news, it didn't bring your pants. Or bad news, it didn't bring your pants. Like, so I skied in jeans. Oh, wow. In like the fanciest place ever to ski. So yeah, it was good. Nice. It was real, real embarrassing. <laughs> but it was good, it was fun. Never done it before. All right, well. Yeah. Uh, as I said at the house, uh, I was talking to Mikey. You guys know I'm not a Glock guy, but uh, mainly the grip angle, but the other thing is the trigger. So Mikey was letting me know he has these in stock. So you were saying these are like the business, right? Dude, they are. Honestly, for the price, like I can't, I've not messed with a better trigger for the price. All right, They're so awesome. we're, gonna, we're gonna put this in for that video that I was talking to you guys about. It'll be the Monsoon Tactical uh, Lucky 7s video with the Hollow Sun SES and then also including this Timney Glock trigger. So, but when I walked in, you guys told me something came in for me that I wasn't aware of. Yeah, neither was I. <laughs> so, real quick guys, uh, if you saw this YouTube video, you guys know I was pumped about this. A lot of people on the channel weren't crazy about this gun, but I am, I'm happy it's here. Let's open it up. hey -o! So that is the Quarter Circle 10. It's the YKMF. And yes, it does have some correlation to a very, very heartfelt Christmas movie. But we don't, we don't <laughs> swear on this channel, yeah. So yes, 
The other thing is, uh, you guys remember my buddy Bryce that came out to help me film SHOT Show. He said if we got this gun, he'd be flying out to uh, help us film the review. So, Bryce, uh, let's make that happen, buddy. Book that ticket, baby. So, but yeah. Uh, Mikey, you were messing with it. You said, I was surprised too. Like, it's got it's some got good some weight. weight man. Like, this thing is not gonna recoil. No. And, I, and I didn't realize, like, this is billet as well. So, yeah, it looks very well machined. I'm pretty stoked to okay. get it on the channel. And so, we actually have two variations. I wanna shoot this in a stock configuration, how it comes to show you guys. But then, when I was looking at photos and stuff, I already saw some, you guys all know that. Like, I like to put my own personal touch on some stuff. So, we will definitely be getting that on the channel soon. Um, it is Saturday here. It is really packed out there. So, I'm gonna get my paperwork done here, pick up some ammo, let Mikey get back to work. But yeah, um, here at Ventura, they are still full force going. Things are good. Yeah, so, not bad. Come down, check them out. Cool. See Mike. See you guys. Appreciate it. What's going on, guys? It is now, what's today, Garrett? Monday. Monday, I think. Monday. Monday. It's a good Monday, because where are we going? The range. Hey, oh, so Garrett drove all the way out from Arizona. What's up? A long four hour trek. <laughs> 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 but, uh,. You guys all know Garrett's been shooting stuff on Instagram for a while. He's been a big supporter of the channel and the company. So uh, we're shooting a review on this uh, Lucky 7 supporting package by our good buddy Vinny over at Monster Tactical. And Garrett, being a Glock guy. I can't wait, man. I'm, I'm excited. What better way to get this review done than bringing somebody on that likes to run the platform? More than I do, because I'm not a fan. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just a grip angle. I think Glock's a great gun, but like I said, just a grip angle. Anyway, we're getting everything loaded up. We're gonna go check out this new Hollow Sun SCS that's directly mounted into my MLS Glock, along with that porting package, and this new Timney trigger. So I'm super excited about that trigger. Anyway, super excited about that We'll give them a little behind the scenes when we get out there, so let's head out. All right, as promised, out here on the range with Garrett. Give that thing a whirl, dude. Let's see how flat it is. Here we go. Hey, oh. Flat. They did a good yeah, job, man. That porting package is pretty sweet. Yes, it is. So full review will be coming soon with Garrett on. However, now it's getting super windy, so it is time for beer and wings. Let's do it. What's going on, guys? So it's now Thursday. Look who's here. What's up, guys? What's up, Roger? What's up, Roger? Got guns out TV in the house. Mr. John yeah. Keys, Mr. Mike. How you gentlemen doing? How's the flight? Hey man, flights were terrible. <laughs> Spirit Airlines, I will never fly that shit again. And I'm putting this on John. No, you don't put it on me because you see, he always puts it on me, guys. I don't get it. That was the only there thing was they John's could do. Yeah, yeah, I did kind of wait till the last minute. They got my favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. We definitely brought the heat this time, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at these new staccato bags, though. Man, have to buy it like. A whole, whole other staccato lineup just to get the bags. <laughs> just to get the new bags. bags. Just to get so. the bag that you're gonna sit in a closet somewhere, bro. right? Yeah. For real. <laughs> so we're filming some stuff in here, and you guys are definitely want to check out on their channel. The link it'll be linked down below. Yeah, yeah. But, Appreciate that. Yeah, they got a bunch of cool stuff. It's nice to see other staccato toys out and about. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So. Oh, hold on. Since, since you show it. Since you show it. Roger, have you, Roger have, have you seen this yet? Mm mm, just in, in videos and stuff. Man, look at that. That red just pops so nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. Some chunk port ashing from Vinny. Oh, yeah. Vinny's the man. Did he do your life for you, too? Yep. That's clean. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> he did the. Um, this is a new optic because I dropped oh, I right. dropped the slide the in Atlanta and it that cracked the right. screen, so I had to buy another one. And so I got to send it back to Vinny because my trigger was red and then this was painted the same color as the light, so he's gonna redo nice. that for me. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, remember we changed the trigger. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's because right. I bought that Atlas trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I got one of them coming. Those are dope. Oh, oh yeah. Well, which one do you have? You have the medium or the? I think I have the medium because I want. The yeah. I have, uh, I have a build coming up that'll be on the channel soon. Okay. So. okay. All right, we're gonna get to it. We'll see yeah, you guys. Yeah. All right. Hey, oh, so as you guys can see, it has definitely been a busy week. Um, huge shout out and thank you to everybody that came and hung out. Garrett, thanks for coming down and shoot that video with us. Uh, just got finished editing that Lucky 7th video with the Holoson SCS, so that'll be up as well soon. Um, John Keys, Shermichael, thank you for coming out to film that segment. Uh, super awesome that you guys flew all the way out from the East Coast to support us. We appreciate it, guys. Uh, enjoy those new Staccato XTs as well. 
Uh, and it was great to see Mikey down at Ventura. So guys, that's been a week. I'm gonna get this stuff uploaded. I appreciate you all checking out the video. Uh, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up down below because that does help out the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to further support our content, check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon supporters are a huge reason why we keep making these videos for you guys to watch, so thank you to them. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You're sneezing? Are you sneezing? What are you doing, little girl? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Good girl.